Yeah, so there's the new clothesline. Well, fence line. You should try it sometime, especially if you're, you know, just a bloke. Bloody uh, single man type style stuff, you know. You don't have a missus that hangs it out for you. So I honestly suggest the old fence line works a treat. So here we are. Uh, got Joel here that's just come down from Napier and we're heading out for an overnight hunt up in the Ruhenis. And the mission begins. We're off on the hunt. whispering low register voice yeah yeah still early days all right so here we are up in the Ruahenis out on a hunt and I've got uh, Joel he's come down from Napier sort of uh, been uh, seeing a bit of his stuff on YouTube he's got a hunting channel as well what's that called bro uh, Dustin Hunting NZ yeah so go check that out and uh, I quite like his stuff pretty genuine Kiwi bloke and a uh, bit of a hard case just quite natural in that so quite like watching his stuff you know so he watches my channel too and we've kind of teamed up and yeah here we are out on a bit of a hunt and yeah I'm taking him actually out in my backyard and showing him around and yeah we're out here fly camping tonight uh, already spooked a deer I spooked a deer don't know what it was didn't get a glimpse of it you can just hear it eh? Hey? yeah you see it's a bum or something or is it sure that was close yeah uh, yeah the wind is uh it's been a bit all over the place. It's been up our ass and it's in our face and it's completely still. Um, so yeah, we're just going to work with that tonight. But yeah, if you will, mate, you tell us a little bit about yourself, bro. You, you how old are you, man? Oh yeah, so I'm 17 and I go to Napier Boys, last year at Napier Boys. So, um, you know, just moved down from Hawke's Bay about the beginning of last year. Yep. So, um, you started hitting the car workers in the Rohini's a fair bit last year, so... That's good. Yeah, pretty mean buzz, eh? Hunting and yeah, because you've been a young fellow like yourself and you're just you know starting out, eh? It's yeah. all good fun, man. Yeah. yeah, and I definitely I recommend it to heaps of young fellas out there. You know, there's so much benefits you get from hunting. You know, the fitness aspect of it. You know, getting out there and uh, checking out new country and going on adventures. And uh, you know, you just learn something every single time you come out for a hunt, and also. As your hunting journey goes on, you meet up with a lot of good bastards along the way, so definitely recommend hunting as a sport and a hobby, yeah. So we just set up home for the night. we uh, got uh, Joel's Hunt Tech fly, so I'm putting that to the test. Is this the first time you've had it set up, bro? Yeah, first time. So. Interesting to see how it turns out. Yeah, and the range just set in, eh? So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> range just set in, so be a bit of a tester for it, see if it keeps us dry. Have a little look under here. That's us, that's beds for the night. Our mate looks like he's got a really flash mattress over there. He reckons it's not that comfy though. <laughs> About my one, sure, I might as well just sleep on the bloody ground. <laughs> the only thing that does for you is probably insulate your back a little bit at night. We went out for a bit of a hunt. Uh, or this evening I should say and didn't actually lay eyes on any deer so um, you ended up bloody coming in quite foggy so mother nature won that one but that's alright she pushed us back to camp and uh, here we are cooking a bit of mince and also what else is on the menu got some rice so rice and mince for dinner tonight washed down with a double brown so yeah she's all good Try again in the morning, see how we go. This is something I've never brought up into the bush. The old chili. Keen, bro? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, not whole, but you know, I'll chop it up a little bit, put some in the mince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Worth a go. Or we could just cut it in half and me and you could just <laughs> chow it down now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, the old 
chilli in the bush, a bit of chilli in the venison mints. What's the verdict, mate? It's bloody beautiful. The one? Yeah. Have you had any of that chilli in there yet? No, not yet. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. I've had two mouthfuls and I think, yeah, I must have got most of the chilli because my mouth's starting to heat up just a wee bit. <laughs> there it is. And then there he is. Oh, he's decided to leave. Don't like the camera. This fella. Some beetle. Alright, so... It's absolutely pissing down at the moment. Sitting here under the fly. And yeah, just hoping it's going to clear off and I'm going to get a beautiful morning. But for now, good night. Right, so we're out on our morning hunt and it pissed down all night and it cleared up sort of about two hours ago. And uh, I thought there'd be deer out in force, just deer everywhere, but uh, not the case. We have spotted a couple, they're a long shot out, so we're going to put on a bit of a stalk and uh, try to get a bit closer and yeah, bowl one over. Bloody typical, we're doing the big mad, mad dash in and we've just bumped a hind and a fawn about 40 metres in front of us. <laughs> Didn't get any footage, it happened pretty quick but that's alright, it's exciting. <laughs> even, even if you can just get a yeah, free shot, it's fucking close right and behind the shoulder. Beautiful shot, bro. Beautiful shot, bro. I, I shot it next time. You did, didn't you? Or just on top of the shoulder? I think on top of the shoulder there. <laughs> awesome, bro. That's wicked. You sacked it. I got it on camera too, bro. Oh, sweet. Shot, man. Well done. Awesome shit. What was that? That's only a 50 metre shot. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Whew. How's that for public land hunting, man? <laughs> man that was a good stalk. That was a good stalk, man. We spotted those from bloody way out. Yeah. Like, See, I think I'm more bloody buck fever than you are just being on the camera. <laughs> you gave me the thumbs up, like, all good, bro. And I was like, oh, hang on, yep, yep. <laughs> Here he is. <clears throat> Found it. Buck's actually heavy. <laughs> Nice. Look at the shot. Oh, right on top of the right bloody on top of the air. shoulder there. Well, so here it is. Well done, man. Yeah, well thank there. you. Yeah. It was a pretty exciting stalk, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, so yeah, we spotted these deer from quite a way out and made a decision to just boost our way down. Uh, we spooked a few deer on the way, like quite close. And then, yeah, once that happened, we sort of had another look over these guys way and uh, yeah I managed to spot them again they were a bit further around in the scrubby face that we're in uh, and then yeah planned a bit of a stalk how we're gonna get in close and uh, worked out perfectly eh mate yeah just popped over the ridge couldn't see them couldn't see them and then just out of the corner of my eye I just saw a little bit of a brown sort of patch and I was like oh yeah, yeah mate here they are yeah and um, yeah you want to sort of tell us what happened after that man yeah so pretty much just got the camera set up ready to go and Sort of up to the uh, up to me with the gun and trying to find a rest, good rest to <laughs> shoot from. Uh, we we pretty much planned that. Oh, I was going to neck shot it, 
mm. and then uh, yeah obviously the some deer come crashing down and so the next shot plan sort of had to ditch that and uh, had maybe a few seconds to get a shot off this one just stopped nice broadside shot so yeah that was a ripper of a shot like you see on the camera man yeah. I think you just sacked it. Right yeah, on yeah. The spot. Bloody, yeah, oh, good shooting. Beautiful bro. shot, bro. Also notice you're a bit of a lefty, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I saw you, I was like, oh shit, this fella's bloody left handed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much, bro. Awesome. Right, so I've had a few people hitting me up in the videos on YouTube saying, like, you know, they'd like to see how we break down the deer in the field after shooting one. So, what we've taken from this animal, the young yearling, is the back legs, the hindquarters, and also the back stakes and tenderloins. Um, yeah, some may say like, oh, you know, why don't you just carry the whole thing back? Because only a young yearling. But um, I suppose this is a bit of a subject I want to get into. You know, I feel like a majority of hunters, when you're out here living out of a backpack, and you're in for a night or something, and you're shooting deer, most of the time you shoot them in the shoulders anyway, so they're kind of buggered. Good excuse though, eh, fellas? Yeah, shoot for the shoulders. You don't have to carry them. <laughs> but, uh, nah, um, the best parts of the meat are in the back legs, back steaks, tenderloins, and you know you got to be realistic about it. Like when you when you do have a big pack, you know, and you you got all your all your all your other stuff, you know, sleeping bags, gear. Or well, for me, I got all my filming equipment, you know. And I suppose it depends on um, it depends on your situation. I'm all for carrying out a whole deer if there's a four wheeler pretty handy or you know a lot of fellas do have access to places where you can get the quad to them and the carry's massive man it, it goes from the ground just up to the quad about a meter carry and then probably about another five meter carry to the chiller now that's ideal that's in a situation where things are you know it's all g but up here you know out in public land and you know we've probably still got a good hour and a half walk out and that deer was a good hour away from camp so yeah, just got to be a bit real about the situation, and you know, don't even want to get me started on um, the old 1080. Uh, you know, <laughs> won't even go down that path. But you get, you understand what I mean. This thing could just die from that shit, and uh, you know, not get used or eaten at all. So, yeah, probably just good tucker for flies and maggots. Um, or if you like Morgan, you know, he'd probably just um, be more interested in carrying out these, just two. Um, maybe even one, sometimes you might be overdoing it, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, enough yakking from me. I'll show you a little bit about how I go about, um, yeah, breaking down the back legs and dressing in the field. So I've just opened this up a bit earlier, just to cool it down, help cool it down while it's been hanging up in this tree. So I've gone around the ball joint there. I'm no expert at this whatsoever, like, I just hack away at it and bloody... Get it, get it done. Just use the weight of the leg, eh? It just comes off away from the pelvis there. Just stick to the pelvis bone. It just pretty much falls off. Like so. Just around the top of the rump there. Bang. So there's one drumstick. Um, so there's three main muscle groups in that. And we'll bone those out too. But I'll just take the pelvis off this other leg. you wanted to hang them have you got anywhere to you could or um oh not really okay i'll just bone out the three main muscle groups and both of them yeah sweet <laughs> so our mate morgan robinson he uh, got a bit of slack on the venison hunters page the other day about hocks and tails you know come on guys it was just a joke, you know, don't take that shit to heart, man. You're just having a bit of a laugh. Where's your balls, man? It's all good. You carried out two. Bit of dog tucker. Right. Where's me bloody here is. Yeah, I've got a little bag here. It's had the bacon in it. So I'm just chucking a bit of uh, trimmings in that in there. The boss. 
The boss ain't on this trip, obviously. You know, still in the naughty corner on timeout. So I'm going to come home and, you know, he's going to get a bit of venison. He's probably going to be all pissed off and shit he didn't get to come. But hey, got a bit of training to do yet. Yeah, so I'll just open that up there. Yeah. And you pretty much, yeah, look at that, you just follow the scene. Any butchers out there probably saying, what the bloody hell's he doing? I'm a fencer, fellas. Hunter in the weekends. <laughs> Any idea what you want to do with this, Joel? Um, probably just steaks. Yep. Might mince a little bit of it. Yep. Yeah. Some more meat. Just cutting off chunks of it around the bone, really. Into the tree. <laughs> Rip this down a bit. Something like this. Hack away at it. Something like that. It's another cut. Another cut there. Find the joint in here. Oh, there it is. I'm not hitting my cameraman. There it is. Oh, here it's breaking. Through there. Oosh. Bloody rough, alright. Yeah, say what you want in the comments. I won't get offended. I'll just agree. <laughs>